the beauty, I would say, with democratic design is, you know, almost anybody could do a beautiful product if it could be at any cost of, at all. I think the beauty is that we could make great design accessible to the many people. Democratic design is our take on how to solve uh, or fulfill our vision. And it contains of uh, five different elements. It's great shape to it, or form, if you like. It's about function, it's about quality, it's about sustainability, and last but not least, it's making it accessible for everybody. So it has to be at a low price. That's democratic design. We have a very clear standpoint in how we'd like to, to express and help people to solve their needs at home. It's not only but just the, the, the actual functionality as such. It is the added value, like for instance you get light in the closet, to have a small little simple light that gives fantastic functionality, but still it doesn't disturb your partner. It's easy and accessible. We just don't add functionality. Life becomes easier. That's the essence of, of uh, the point of view and, and the home we want to be known for. Design in general is all about teamwork. And it's from the start, it's setting up the right kind of team. We had an idea that we wanted to do tools for kids. We went down to Italy and we visited some schools. We saw that kids could be really creative on their own if they just had the right tools. Then we started to do sketches. When we have all these millions of sketches, <laughs> we meet up with the team and we present this for them. And they, uh, they give their input. We have this relationship with, with our, both our co-workers and with our customers and the suppliers. They have the knowledge about what, uh, what they are best suited to, to produce because then we adopt the design to the possibilities within that very factory's production line. And that's one of the main things to solve when you want to do low-cost items. So this pen, for example, we had the, the discussions about having two tips, one small and one big. We decided to take one tip off because we figured that we could reach a better price if we only had one tip and with a good price we can reach out to the many people. We wanted uh, this whole range to be of a really good quality. We wanted the colors to be just fantastic and we wanted uh, them to be fun to use, easy to use and uh, also that they would last long. And do you know what the best thing is? They're washable. This is a new product. It's the Celia bedside table and as you can see it has a lovely IKEA design to it, colorful by using a material which is not commonly used within bedside tables, sheet metal, we could achieve a completely different price level. Most people have a tendency to have their mobile phone by their bed and they want to charge it every night and they use that as an alarm clock in the morning. And instead of charging it on top of the bedside table, we thought that it might be a good idea to be able to charge it inside of the bedside table. And then we have this drawer and just flipping to the bottom, you can see that the drawer is not going all the way down. And there's a gap here, and that's for the cable management. A really simple, straightforward way of doing cable management. All at the price level of 20 euros. If you look upon design in general, it's quite elitistic. And our work within IKEA is to actually make all of those desirable things, the really good stuff, the really good solutions, accessible for more people. That's our everyday work.